Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with me making my own custom sketchbook and I've got to say I am addicted. I have made three custom sketchbooks in the last like five days or something and I'm loving it. So I decided to share it with you guys. Um, the first one that I did was a bullet journal so if you want to uh, make the bullet journal you can do it in the exact same way as this. Um, but you obviously just switch out the paper, whichever paper that you use. So in this paper, um, in this sketchbook, I have used a Daily Rooney art pad. Um, I think it's, it's, it's hot pressed paper or they call it smooth. Um, I'll show you it in the video. And I used the backing of that to make the covers. So I am very bad at like measuring and cutting things so mine isn't like perfect but I like it that way because if it wasn't perfect then like if it was perfect then obviously I didn't really make it. Um, so the first thing that I did was put glue on the backing covers. I cut out all of the measurements and stuff if you really want to go and see how to like make these sketchbooks or books in general then I do recommend Sea Lemon and Nick the Booksmith. I'll put their links in the, in the description below as well as the videos that I watched to be able to make these books because they were super helpful and I wouldn't have been able to make these books without those. Um, so then I got a paper pad like scrapbook paper I guess from Hobbycraft and I used the watercolour version, it's just new in and I absolutely love this paper. Um, you could make your own covers obviously with watercolour paper but I decided not to because um, I don't have any like fixative or like finishes to protect the cover and I don't want to get it all grotty but um, these covers, this paper comes with like pre-protection I guess. And then for the end pages, or rather the bits that you stick down, I put um, some card together, cardstock. I got some blue cardstock from Hobbycraft as well, and I stuck it down um, two bits together and stuck it down to the cover as well so that it covers it and makes it look better. Um, and these cutting out parts, like I am rubbish at it, it just it's not. <laughs> It's not straight, it's not the best um, and I did use the full bit of paper rather than cutting it down to size so that it looks like cool like Sea Lemon does it but um, I thought I was going to cover those bits anyway so it didn't matter if it lined up or anything like that and I'm bashing it with my bone folder which is a very handy tool if you're making books by the way. A lot of people say you don't need it but I would rather use the bone folder than like a butter knife or something like that. So here I am sticking the end pages together and sticking it on the cover and I decided for this sketchbook that I would go for five holes on each side of the book with a little bit of a bigger gap in between. Um, on my bullet journal I did eight in between and I think the more that you do the more like sturdy the book is. The book does wiggle so if you don't like that then these books are not for you but I am addicted. I love doing this. See there's the paper there. I love doing these uh, custom sketchbooks. I pick the covers, I pick the amount of pages, um, I picked the paper type um, and the thread that I um, threaded it with. So that's exciting. Um, these pages were pretty thick so Sea Lemon does say about four pages per signature. I did two and a signature is just paper within each other just to make like little booklets. Um, pretty much but I did two with this because this is watercolour paper so um, I have myself a custom watercolour book and the pages do stick out and the covers don't fully cover it um, and it's a bit like scraggly but I don't really care. Um, it's really cool, I like it and I think that instead of buying, new, buying sketchbooks, although I really do love to buy a sketchbook but I think that more often than not I'm gonna make the sketchbooks because it's so fun to make and it's so like satisfying to do and satisfying to finish like while you do it unless you prick yourself and make yourself bleed like I did um <laughs> you um I don't know it's just so relaxing I was listening to music I was chilling out in my art room on my own just poking holes in paper and sewing it together it was so fun and then at the end if you don't do it wrong like the first one 
I missed a couple of stitches on the first one and I did like three at either side and I measured it wrong um, then obviously it's like super satisfying but I am using all three books for a different purpose that I've made I'm using my uh, first one that I made for morning pages so a journal and then the second one that I made for the bullet journal and then the third one is just going to be a watercolour sketchbook I'm probably going to use it for sketchbook summer because I want to do watercolour for sketchbook summer this year um, so here I am and I decided to slow down the first uh, the first stitch just to show you how long it took. This book actually didn't take me as long as the eight per side Coptic stitch binding book, but it is Coptic stitch binding and I'll put the um, link down below for you to figure it out. But this is the first stitch and it literally takes ages. And then um, my thread was tangling a lot, but it was quite easy to untangle, like super easy because I did the beeswax. I didn't show that, but it's a double stitch, um, sorry, a double threaded needle with a knot on the end. And you just go in the first signature hole and out to the other side. And then to sew on the cover, you need to go up and under, like under and up the uh, book cover. And then you stitch around it. It's really hard to explain. <laughs> Then you like, um, yeah, you, you burl around it, you can see it on the video, and then you go back up through the um, the signature like I'm doing now, and you just repeat that all the way along until you get to the other signature, and then you just put it through that signature instead of the signature that you're on. So um, I'm showing you it. It was quite hard to film. Hats off to the bookbinders who do this on YouTube. Like. Honestly, it's so hard to get it in frame and to not get your head in the way and then if you do it at a different angle, like you might get your arm in the way. It's just like, it's so hard. Um, so hats off to them. I hope it's um, okay for you. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, the pages in my sketchbook do not lay flat. Well, they do lay flat, okay? So like if I um, go to the second page, they won't lay flat like it will go up so I suggest investing in some clips or something to clip it to the cover of the book and then it will it will lay flat better or you could like bend the book back so that it lays flat um it is really difficult to to get it to just like well it's not really difficult actually um they just kind of ping up a little bit it's because the paper is so heavy and stiff um that it just doesn't want to lay flat so uh, that's what I suggest but the books with the cardstock paper definitely lay flat perfectly well um, and I really like it so it's just something to keep in mind and I loved it and I didn't script this video or put any points that I wanted to say down so I'm kind of like struggling to fill up this this video with with voiceover but I am really happy that I done this I don't know, I just had, I don't know why I decided to do it. I think I was watching a lot of Sea Lemon videos and I was like, here, I want to make a sketchbook. It looks easy, let's do it. And it is not easy. There is, like, it's a learning curve. You've got to, you've got to learn. Um, but the more you do it, the better you are because, um, yeah. I am a bit gutted with this one because I ran out of thread halfway through and I didn't run out of thread with my bigger one which is weird but the reason I ran out of thread with this one was because um, I was untangling thread for like three hours before I did this and I cut the thread because I really just didn't want to untangle a bunch of thread so I cut the thread and then I untangled the rest of the thread on its own so that it was easier for me to pull the, the end through um, so I didn't have a long string of thread <laughs> um, otherwise I would have but obviously the less thread you use the less it's likely to tangle and the quicker the stitches go by um, because I had so much thread in the first one I had to like keep pulling my arm out to its full length and then doing it again and again until I just did one stitch which was craziness um, but I really like this thread as well as cotton thread I was going to use embossing thread that my mum has my mum is a sewer she makes um, 
cardigans and blankets and dolls and stuff. Um, but, uh, so she had a lot of supplies for me, but I just went out and bought my own because it's just not suitable for bookbinding. But yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty fun, a big adventure. I really loved doing it and I definitely suggest that you guys do it too because it's just so great. And if you are into sketching and you um, are annoyed by the choices that you that are available to you you can just buy a paper pad of watercolor paper or any type of paper that you want you can even mix up the paper you can have some watercolor and some not um, mixed media paper anything you name it you can have it and you can just stitch it together and away you go um, I think that I want to use all of these supplies to make books I've still got a stack of cardstock I probably will make a bullet journal out of that and I also want to put down in the description below a um, video tutorial on how to make dotted paper. There's my big ginger nut in the, in the video. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I'll put down in the description below any of the links that you need to figure it out. I got all of my supplies from Hobbycraft because I just wanted to do it now and um, so I went to a on a little trip to Hobbycraft and then I did it. I did the book <laughs> and I can't wait to start sketching in this. The video was getting kind of long, I was going to draw in it, but um, the video was getting a bit long. So if you want to see me draw in this, then look forward to Sketchbook Summer because I probably will be doing that um, in this book. It's only 5, no it's 12 sheets, so um, it's only 24 pages, which isn't really that much for sketchbook summer but I will be water water colouring so I think that that's um, a totally acceptable number of pages. Um, sketchbook summer says that the creator of sketchbook summer says that you have to have 110 pages but um, I will be sketching in my Royal and Lanical sketchbook as well which does have 110 pages but I don't think I'll finish both of the sketchbooks at one time. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, so I'm just quickly showing you the rest of the stitching and then it cuts off and I'm really sorry, but you can't really see much anyway and it's just the same process and I will link the videos that show you the whole pr process. Um, I, my battery died basically and I had to wait until end to record the finished product but I'm super happy with this. I hope that you enjoyed looking at it as well. Tell me if you've ever binded a book before and what kind of methods you use if there's other stitching methods. I really like the Coptic stitch. There is other ways that you can bind books as well um, but tell me in the comments below what you've done, what kind of books you've made, what paper you used, what kind of covers you have and all that jazz because that would be awesome. Um, and remember and subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this and more arty farty videos as well as turning the notification bell on to get notified of all the videos that I post. I usually post on Fridays now hoping to increase the videos after all the stress is gone in my life um, but for now we have one a week and I am happy with that so look at it it's beautiful sorry about my shaky camera <laughs> but I really love it um, and in this little clip I will show you uh, that the pages kind of like fan out. I was going to add, you seen elastic at the start of the video, I was going to add the elastic band to it but I don't have my hot glue gun right now, it's packed away because I'm moving so I will be um, slapping an elastic band on this book uh, when I get my hands on that glue gun but until then I'm just going to have it open like this and I love it so thank you so much for watching again guys please wait until the end I will show you some other videos that you can click on and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>